Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and yes, as you've probably already guessed, this video is about us getting a new guinea pig. So if you saw my recent updates video, then you'll know that I wasn't sure whether to dive in and get a fourth guinea pig to join my herd of three girls after Willow's passing. I did like the idea of rescuing another piggy maybe in the future and I wasn't sure how the dominance issues would play out with the two sisters. And really there's two things that made me sort of rethink things and come around to the decision that yes we will go for a new piggy. The first one was someone in the comments they mentioned about getting a neutered bar and how it can help iron out dominance issues between a group of sows or female guinea pigs and I was sort of aware of this but I never really thought I would have male piggies again. I, I don't know why I just thought mm, I'll always have girls from now on seeing as I've started off with them. And and the second one was a few weeks ago a family member said are you thinking about getting another piggy after Willow and it was really a combination of those two things playing on my mind and I decided okay I like the idea of rescuing a piggy I like the idea of a neutered bar why don't I just go on and look and see what is available at the rescues near me so this is where things get exciting because I didn't really have to do that much searching I have a kind of list of rescues that I'll always jump to and one of them is the RSPCA it's really easy to search for pets on there and they sort of bring up the ones that are nearest to you and when I did this a certain guinea pig popped up and I just fell in love with him. And I ended up inquiring about Pedro. <laughs> so there's not much information available really. Uh, he is a neutered boar. They don't know how old he is. He was abandoned in a car park or someone found him in a car park. Um, and I got in touch with the RSPCA, sent them my information on cage sides and things like that. I spoke to them on the phone, learned a bit more about him and uh, agreed to go and pick him up and we are going to collect Pedro tomorrow <laughs> so I am extremely excited I can't wait for you guys to see him and as of this point I will stop talking and let's get on with the rest of the video So we are all ready to go and collect him. <laughs> We're very excited and as you know I don't really have carriers for my guinea pigs so I have a lovely cardboard box <laughs> and in here we just have this little snuggle sack in case he gets a bit cold, um, lots of hay, um, Timothy hay so he's got a choice of things to munch on and we've even got some pellets here in the corner and we've just got newspaper on the bottom it's not that long a journey well it's about an hour away so hopefully you should be fine in there hello again so we are back home back from the RSPCA and Pedro is in his box here we're just going to have a little look at him <laughs> hello hello sweetheart there he is so he was very well behaved on the journey home. I did bring him some veggies so he's been munching away at some celery and carrot. He's eaten it all <laughs> and he's been eating some of this hay as well. So what I'm going to do now is just set up a little cage for him. I'm not too sure about introducing him to the girls straight away and it'll definitely be in a future video so look out for that. So I'm just going to set up the cage and keep him for a few days in there. Just enough time to properly check over him, make sure he's okay. Probably give him a bit of a groom and um, yeah, let him settle in for a few days before we do introductions really. I did take some footage of him in the car, so I'll just pop this in here. If you 
can't tell already, he is a Peruvian guinea pig, so he has this lovely long hair that sort of sweeps forward over his face. He's got rosettes on his back there, and I will uh, I'll get some footage of all of him once he's uh, settled into the little cage. tell he was super confident as soon as we brought him home so we let him out for some floor time around the living room just thinking hey let's see what he does and within a matter of hours he was wandering around not a care in the world and even hand feeding from us he did pee and poop a lot on the carpet but bless him we'll forgive him that he spent his first night last night in the small cage and we've had him out again today for most of the day He absolutely loves every bit of fresh food we've given him so far and I can tell that taming and bonding with him is going to be very food driven. <laughs> I can tell he's really not used to being handled though and he will try and run but we have managed to check him over and I've even given him a bit of a haircut today just around his bottom. I did also find a few body quirks, some probably related to neglect in his past but I'll chat more about about his story and history in a future video. As things stand, he seems really settled and we feel ready to have a go at introduction soon. For now, I will leave you with some more footage of him. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know if this came as a surprise to you. And also, if anyone has bonded groups with females and a neutered male, I'd love to hear about how well they get on. Also, let me know if you like the name Pedro. I have renamed my rescue piggies before, but I actually really like the name. I think it kind of suits him in a way, so let me know your thoughts on that too. Anyway guys, this is all for now. We really hope you enjoyed. Say a big hello to Pedro and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye!